Hey guys, what's going on? It's Baron here. If you enjoy this video or you enjoy the channel, don't forget to check out our channel memberships and patrons. Also, don't forget to subscribe, share the video with your friends. I'm really loving you guys' support right now. During this Invictus sale, the videos are just going absolutely nuts and I'm, I'm loving it. Thank you so much to everyone supporting the channel right now. So, we're pretty much going to be doing a video over um, the sale and how you should pretty much build your fleet during this sale. Like, just a generality of advice of how I work my fleet and how everything I do. As you can see, I got the Caterpillar Pirate Edition there. Um, so the way I do everything, it's just my way of doing stuff. It's not always going to be your way of doing things, but it's a little bit of advice. And everyone's been asking me, well, a lot of people have been asking me um, advice about ships and how they should build their fleets. Um, if you want to talk to me or anything, go join my Discord server. If you're a channel member as well, go over there. You get extra perks, which is great. Um, but we're going to get straight into it, guys. I know um, it's a little bit forward and it's like spontaneous but it's something i want to do okay so this sale is obviously mm, like ue fleet ships and just ships that are generally evolved like evolved around uh, the ue like you've got the triage there where you don't have the medivac you've got um you've got the normal character but you don't have the character expedition you've got the terrapin you've got the valkyrie like everything to do with the ue is pretty much in this sale we've got the crucible as well carry like i said now i really wanted to melt my pack and do a lot of these ships now i want to get a javelin next year which is another big thing so if this channel does take off and it's one of the biggest things i'm really wanting right now and hopefully it's later on down the track i'm going to get a javelin next year i'm going to get an idris hopefully we get um that we could get the rsi pack or the ages pack we'll just have to see but we're going to go over how you should build your fleet this invictus and sort of think forward later like in the gameplay and how you want to build your fleet so I sort of look at what's coming next. Um, what ships are we going to see next? Now, I don't have a lot of these ships, but it's something that I think about. So the Polaris, we already know has been taken off of the timeline, but it's still an unannounced vehicle there. So I guess it could still be coming next year as well as the Perseus. Now, if you like both them ships and you have the money, just get them both. It's it's as simple as that. If you get them as a separate pack and you don't CCU to them, you can just melt it and buy it back later. It's no biggie. Now. Take in mind, keep in mind as well, that buying a ship like this, or the Triage, or the Perseus, just think about any ship that's not in the game. So the Javelin, when the Javelin actually gets released, or the Idris, and people get the flight, or the Redeemer, the prices are going to be astronomically high. So the Redeemer, I would I would say would go up to about 350 maybe 400 for the ship that it is. The Javelin, pff, maybe six, seven thousand dollars like us and just counting so you really want to think about okay so we got the inferno and the ion coming soon so i want to get one of those before it comes out because the price of that is also going to go up and if you do melt it it also goes back into your buybacks and you can get it back at the exact same price you brought it at so there's always that to consider as well so you want to build your fleet around ships at the moment that are currently in the game and ships that you think you will need later on in the game. I mean, military vehicles serve a specific purpose. They don't all have their niches. They do have their niches, but they don't have an open wide range of niches. Like you got the Mercury Star Runner obviously has multiple intended purposes and unintended purposes. Like the 600i is another great ship to, to keep in mind with that. You got the Starfare and Gemini obviously in game right now and would later be a, uh, a large fueling refueling ship so that'll be also another one to keep in mind so you know i wouldn't really go for small fighters unless it's an exclusive skin like the scorpius um being that you know it's at a pretty low price right now and you've got the stinger paint there for chairman's now the reason i got one of these is because it fits in the polaris and it just made sense to get one now another video i'm going to do is if you can fit two of you possibly fit two of these in the polaris but that's that's another topic so I'm going to slow down and we're really going to go over this because people have trouble building their fleets. Now I would get the ships you want at this sale and not the ships that you really, you know, like you don't need. Don't forget there's always IAE in, I think it's November. So there's going to be lots of ships there like the Endeavour, um, the other Apollo ship, just pretty much every ship you can lay your hands on. At the moment I would get a Polaris just for the sake of having a Polaris, even if you don't buy it and put it down as a um, LTI token in a pack, you can just buy it with a 10 years insurance and then melt it and then buy that back later. That's always 
a thing that you can do. If it's war bond, obviously you're going to have to spend real money, but if you do buy the version of it that isn't war bond, then you should be fine. And not that I think there's a war bond version of the Polaris or Perseus at the moment. The Perseus, I wouldn't really bother about. Like, it is a great ship. Again, buy it, melt it. You don't need it just yet. Uh, the Nautilus, I would go for one of those. Now, you're going to need an exploration ship, so the Carrick is also a great ship for that. People don't really give that enough um, credit for what it does. And the modularity that will be coming later on, it's going to have three different modules on it. So it's got underneath it, it's going to have a few different modules. We don't know what the mod modularity modules are just yet. So that's something that we need to take into consideration. you got the Retaliator, obviously. I would get the base model. I wouldn't get the Mama version because obviously that's like another $165 just for a module, which you can buy in game when the game is released. I mean, you might want to want the Bomber right now, but you can also, again, I melt it because it's not something that you really want or need. You can just buy it in game and earn it. The Wildfire, I've been told that's not as good as a lot of the um, Super Hornets. I've really not looked into the Super Hornet series. I know they they all have the different quirks and different things that they do. If you have the money, I'd get a Javelin. Um, if you have like a large enough fleet and you already have that sort of backing of a large fleet, I wouldn't just go straight to a Javelin because it obviously it's a ship that you're later on going to have to put every single component on, every single weapon. You really pretty much gonna have to build that thing from the ground up. You're just going to come with a, with a base hull. Whereas if you get an Idris, it's ready to fly, ready to roll, go, and you don't have to really worry about anything. With a javelin, it's probably going to cost millions, like hundreds of millions, maybe six, like tens of millions. It's something you really have to consider. And again, you when you buy these ships and they're not out yet, think about the loaners. Go and have a look at the loaners for them as well, because some of them have some really great loaners. If you get an Orion, you get a mole and a like uh, a prospector, not a Polaris. And then if you get a Crucible, you get, I think it's, I can't remember what ship you get with that, actually. I haven't really looked into the loaners for these. You get the Terrapin, another great little military ship, but again, I wouldn't go and spend that much money on it. It is a great ship, but I wouldn't call it 240 US dollars worth it. You got the Taurus, which is coming out next patch, so it's $165. Again, that could go up to the same price as the Andromeda. Looks like all the constellations have a pretty reasonable, like, large price range once they're released. So I would think about getting one of those, especially since it's going to be, what is it, a freighting ship? Something like the Andromeda, but it, ha it has its differences if you did see it in the Hollow Viewer as well. So again, it's all about building your fleet. I wouldn't buy small ships, I would buy larger ships, just for the fact that it's not something I would do myself like i like small ships obviously i do have small ships um i want to get the starfighters because they're a small ship and they're not out yet and they're due to be released soon like the merchantman i got the merchantman because it's not out yet it's something that i want i got the carry because that's what I've got. i want i got the polaris because it's obviously a future ship and it does have some good loaners that's again that sort of came to play as well the scorpius is because i can fit it into my polaris so that when i am out in the verse and I need a small, like a, a large fighter, I can just pull the Scorpius out of the Polaris. Now, a lot of people don't see the point in the hangar in the Polaris, but it does serve a, gr serve a great intended purpose. So again, you just gotta think about what you can do with these ships and the things that you wanna do. It's all about your gameplay style. Like you might not buy any ships at this sale at all because it's not something that you really want. You might already have those ships. And then again, if you go, if you're a chairman, or if you're not a chairman, this is something for you to look at as well. So if you're not a chairman and you see these packs and you want to become a chairman to get these packs, this, these packs are great. So if you don't want to go and sit there and wait for a javelin and you have the money and you want to spend the money, you can get this pack. Without, you can use store credits on this one, the war bond one, you obviously have to pay and money out of your bank account. You get the Javelin, you get the Idris P, you get the Hammerhead, but do you really need that pack? It's all about building up to where you want to be um, in terms of your fleet. Um, if you want to be there in the future, again, don't forget, we got a few years till this game is fully released, so it's something that you've got to think about now and whether or not you really want that now or do you want it later. And it's something that you can wait. 
it's not like this game's gonna be out in like a few days. You've got a lot of time to think about this, but you just gotta think about the upcoming ships, upcoming sales, whether or not you want that ship before it actually gets released. Like I said, these ships will go up in price when they get released. Like, look at the Hercules, it's gone up. But I have two in my buybacks and they're at the price that I bought them at. So there's always that to think about. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did waffle on a little bit. I hope I didn't lose you anywhere. I did talk a little bit of poo. But if you want to talk to me, come to the Discord. I'm more than approachable. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the verse.